Orachayim, which means Congregation Path of Life, is part of the early story of New Amsterdam. The first Jewish settlers arrived with the Dutch. By 1859, there were 40,000 citizens of Jewish ethnicity. On December 11, 1879, at 11.15 a.m., Marcus J. Cohen and Sigmund Arnstein registered the name Orachayim in the office of the registrar of the county of the city of New York. The synagogue was dedicated March 17, 1899. Our first visit to Orachayim was on the High Holy Days, and we were newcomers to the community, and we walked into the shul, and people welcomed us as if we were their long-lost relatives. It was really amazing. My husband and I started coming to Orachayim about eight and a half years ago, shortly after we got married and we really found it to be such a warm and nurturing environment that we stayed. It's an amazing, amazing place. You know, you have the out-of-town feel where everyone knows who you are and everyone cares about you in an urbane, sophisticated environment like the Upper East Side. Orchheim really offers the best of all possible worlds. It's just a totally unique and amazing place. One great thing that happened recently was I had my bar mitzvah here three or four weeks ago, which was really, really nice, and it was uh, great to have it here. It's such a warm place, and to be able to be here with so many people. Been doing some really exciting things here, getting some young people to come. We've had two really fun dinners, Torah tacos and tequila, and beer, brisket, and brachot. I think the reason why my family has been here for so long is because it's such an awesome place. When Debbie and I moved here from London 11 years ago, it was really important for us to find a community that we could feel comfortable in and where we'd really have a family um, away from our real family. We've uh, got an incredible family here at Orochayim. Uh, it is our second home. Uh, could potentially be our first home. We spent so much time here, the two of us. Uh, but absolutely, OC is the place to be. No matter what has happened to us, whether it's a joyous experience or a sad experience, everyone's behind you. I can really honestly say that. Because it was the shul that we saw. It was made up of all kinds of people. Age, background, affiliation. And also, there was another clientele, namely the thousands of people who have come to Orachim throughout the years because they have family or loved ones at Mount Sinai, and this has become the shul for all those families that need the, the warmth and the, and the succor that a shul can provide for families who are in hospital. The thing that brought me here originally was just the proximity to Mount Sinai, which is why I think many medical students end up at Orachayim. But the reason that I've stayed here for the last 25, 30 years um, is because of the congregation. This. It's a very special place. Every single weekend that I come here, most weekends that I try to come, um, I'm, I love the atmosphere, I love the people, and I'm so happy that I've grown up in this shul my entire life. Barachim is the type of place that you can start as a single person, get married, have a few kids, um, and nothing changes in the sense that you're just as much a part of the community no matter at what stage you started, where you're here or what's going on at the time. Being able to raise our children here where they feel comfortable um, not just playing with their friends in the Shabbos groups, but also being able to come into the shul itself, being able to shake hands with the rabbi, really interact with the shul members, really means a lot to us. And then when we had children, when we had Mia and Ayala, we, uh, we wanted to find somewhere where the kids could go to groups, or well, they wouldn't go to groups. They'd come into shul and sit with us, or they'd go to groups, whatever they chose to do. And the first day that we walked into Orachayim, we knew we'd found, found the right place for us. I started coming to Orachayim very regularly, and uh, it was a whole different experience. You're embraced, it's warm, it's wonderful. People treat you like you're their family. They're, you know, they're there for you no matter what. Ever since I began coming here, everybody in this congregation has been so warm and it was also helpful to be able to lead the end of prayers every Saturday um, with some of the younger kids also. That really helped me prep for my bar mitzvah. An Orachayim is a Beit Chayenim, the home where we really live our lives in the truest sense possible. forward to greeting you all soon, for Orachayim is the place to be. Come and join us.